We have a welcome mat now, and we have dish towels that are new. For what? Halloween. We're getting something new once a week. You're decorating already? Embarrassing. Yep. Our whole house is already decorated. Juice! If I hey, ha- welcome back to our stupid facts. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Twitter. Juice got it. What do you say? I was going to say, if a house is haunted and you tear the house down, what happens to the ghosts? Die. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, they become homeless. <laughs> homeless ghosts. <laughs> we, need, we need to do more for them. <laughs> This is a beautiful song. Oh, it sung is. By I, I can hear it now. SPB and S. Janaki, composed by Raja, sir. In case you were wondering, I was. Oh, 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 Sam Write your own jingle. At least straight up, Angulam Bakala, Angulam Bakala. Go to sleep. most amazing things is how much power they get in that voice without opening their mouth. She's being a ventriloquist. Indian people are probably really good at ventriloquy. Ventriloquy? Ventriloquy.
கழிப்பேன் நீ கட்டும் சேலைக்கு Is that it? Please come. Please come. Yeah, they're just yeah, talking. Yeah, that's it. Wanga, wanga, parvela, wanga. Yeah, and there's no sense. I felt like it. it was just getting started. No! She, uh, I, I'm sure we've heard her. Uh, just S. Jung, I uh, recognize the name. She comes very close in terms of the range that Lada gets into. Right at the very beginning, that's yeah. who I was reminded of. Ah! A little different um, in terms of just, uh, like, the range she can get to, the high that she can get to. Yeah. Um, Would you call her a Range Rover? No. Why? No. Racist. What? I don't know. <laughs> true. So true. Um, have you, of all the times you've sung on the channel, has no one from Bollywood reached out for you to do some operatic soprano songs? I mean, I'm shocked. We've yet to hear. I imagine most of the white singers are as bad as the white actors, so they probably need a very good white soprano. There's not one white singer in India. Wide open field for you. No competition. You'd be the big fish in a small pond. Never had one lesson. <laughs> like, we can tell. <laughs> I knew! God, that was beautiful. Um... And as always, the live performances are fun to watch because they're so different from live performances that we have here, even with classical music. It's so laid back. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just so we're looking at our music. We're moving things around. We're not there's no performance involved. We're just going to be doing everything. Uh, uh, just pitch perfect singing and note perfect playing. Do you think he was upset at the tempo in the beginning? He looked like he wanted the tempo to be a little bit crisper. Yeah. 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 Not quite my tempo. Not my tempo. Yeah. Um, who's in control of that in this situation? The singers? Well, no. Well, it looks like he was. I mean, they have a conductor there, but I think the conductor they do was... have a conductor there? Yeah, that's the shadow right behind him. There was someone conducting the instrumentalists. Oh, However, he continually turned and kept his look on them, for the, particularly him, for the SPB, for the... T tempo and changes because there were a lot of changes that took place as well typically when you have an orchestra and the singers it's the it's the conductor that's doing everything and is and the conductor's typically in front of the singers with the orchestra but yeah i think spb i think spb was in complete control of that right there yeah i don't understand conductors i love it i love watching conductors i particularly like watching dudamel because he's so expressive and emotional what did he do to her mel he dude her uh do you know gustav dudamel you know who that is yeah he's the head conductor for the la phil he's been the head conductor for a long time he was really young when he took it over and he's so fun when you get to see behind the scenes stuff when they're rehearsing it's fun to watch him particularly beethoven to watch him get excited when the orchestra gets it and get frustrated when they, he's such an emotional conductor. I love him. I don't understand. Why he's needed. Why a conductor is needed? During a performance. Because it, it strikes me as like a, having a director for a play. They all know the song. No. No, it's very different. Okay. Yeah. It's just... They've all rehearsed the song and know the song, and the music is right in front of them. So what do you do when you have a fermata? I don't know what that is. What's yeah. a fermata with you? <laughs> exactly. A fermata in musical notation, in Western music, I don't know what they use for Eastern music, but in Western music, a fermata is at the end of a measure, there's a dot with a little arch over the top of it. Of course. And what that means is you're going to hold the note. How do you know when to stop and go to the next measure if there's no indication on the page telling you when you start? The fermata is a hold. It's the conductor that gets you to go to the next thing in unison together. Otherwise, everybody's just going to go to the next bar whenever they feel like it. 
No. Yeah, that's well, that's one of the many reasons you need a conductor. No, I'm going to take my word for it, knowing <laughs> nothing about music. Uh, I don't think the conductor's <laughs> needed. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, anyways, uh, let us know what other uh, songs from uh, both S- Johnny, that, John Nucky and SPB as That well. should be the back of your shirt. On the front, it says, I don't like pregnancy. And on the back, we don't need conductors. <laughs> Train conductors, especially. Yeah, engineers will really appreciate that one. Uh, can you call yourself an engineer if you just drive a train and it's already on a track? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, I've never taken or t- any lessons on a train, but I'm going to take my word for that one as well. Um, honestly, do you need anything? Probably not. Planes. I mean, they essentially land themselves nowadays. Oh yeah. I typically prefer to fly my planes when I'm going places. You don't need to know anything other than just pull that lever and push that button that's true yeah uh i mean outside of that and make sure you got a lot of scotch take off and landing they do kind of autopilot themselves <laughs> nowadays though <laughs> so i've never taken a plane lesson but i'm gonna take my word on that one as well uh if <laughs> if any of you guys are pilots you're not needed uh let us know what other songs we can react to <laughs> down below Just-